So we, we see a lot of uh, consumer insight coming back uh, from our, our, our the market research is market more valuable research. than the money. Ah, yes. Uh, yes, yes, yes. Yeah, Sorry. Yeah. Um, a a absolutely. So um, anyone who's gone through crowdfunding will tell you that the money was good, but like the uh, the fan base was better. And so the uh, the social following, the email addresses, the um, product design ideas, the <laughs> the haters, um, you know, that all of those people did something for you that uh, doing it in your garage wouldn't have done for you. And yeah. so um, getting it out in the daylight. Uh, learning from customers is the entire thing. You have to do that at some point. Might as well do it sooner rather than later. Unless you're truly, you know, you're trying to patent something, IP is a big play for you, don't crowdfund those things because you're going to put them out in the public eye. So, um, but if you can uh, find protectability through process, through uh, first to market status, through early mover advantages, all, all those things, um, those are crowdfundable ideas. Um, and we really see a strong intersection for those kinds of things amongst hardware, wearables, uh, tangible products. Because crowdfunding is, um, is part of the other magic of crowdfunding is something that's tangible, immediate, and evocative. And so uh, tangible meaning it's something that you can touch and actually see the, the manifestation of why I put 60 bucks into this thing. Uh, immediate meaning it's coming out within 12 months. And uh, evocative is that kind of wow factor, the inspiration that I spoke of um, and that you guys have seen as well. And so if you have those three ingredients, uh, you will get that kind of feedback from your uh, from your market by literally putting it out in the marketplace and saying, here's the thing, what do you think? Uh, people will certainly give you their opinions, yeah. no doubt.